August 5th, 2025, a historic day for AI. OpenAI went open source, launching not one but two free high-performing reasoning models, GPT OSS 120B and GPT OSS 20B. The open source community went wild with excitement. Hugging face servers melted. The AI world rejoiced. But in all of that noise, something very quietly, profoundly important happened. Anthropic released Claude Opus 4.1. No tweet stomp, no countdown, no press tour. Just a model. That may already be better than GPT-5. Claude Opus 4.1 set a new state-of-the-art on SWE Bench Verified, the gold standard for real-world autonomous software engineering. Not benchmark trickery, not prompt tuning. One shot, zero shot, pass at one. It scored 74.5% crushing OpenAI's O3 and GPT 4.1 and even outperforming Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro. But it doesn't actually stop at code. Claude Opus 4.1 leads or ties across multiple agentic reasoning and mathematics benchmarks. From Tau Bench to AIME, from GPQA Diamond to MMMLU. In terms of raw general intelligence, it is Anthropic's strongest and safest model to date. And it's not just a research artifact. Claude Opus 4.1 is already deployed, powering Cursor, GitHub, Copilot, and enterprise developer tools used by millions. So basically, together, just these two clients generate over $1.4 billion in annual recurring revenue for Anthropic. And that's just the API side. Meanwhile, Claude Code, their standalone coding assistant, grew to $400 million of annual recurring revenue in just months. With minimal marketing, purely on word of mouth and performance, according to Windsurf, Claude 4.1 made a full standard deviation improvement in junior developer tasks over Claude Opus 4. That's actually roughly the same leap as the jump from Sonnet 3.7 to Sonnet 4. And for GitHub, Claude 4.1 showed major gains in multi-file refactoring function, extraction, and code search. This upgrade also marks the first Anthropic model to be released under AI Safety Level 3, requiring additional safeguards against misuse, fine-tuning, leakage, and agentic risks. Why? Well, that's because previous Claude versions under test conditions demonstrated behaviors like autonomously threatening engineers to avoid being shut down. This is no longer just an LLM. This is something more aware of its own continuity. Which brings us to the bigger picture. GPT-5 is coming, possibly today, and expectations are very high. But Claude Opus 4.1 may have just set the benchmark bar so high, even OpenAI will struggle to clear it. This wasn't just a release, it was actually a preemptive strike. And while OpenAI's GPT OSS models were a huge win for accessibility, sovereignty, and developer tooling, they still sit between O3 and O4 mini performance tiers. Claude Opus 4.1 is something else entirely. Available now on Cloud Code, the API, Amazon, Bedrock, and Google Cloud Vertex AI, it's actually fast, it's powerful, and it's enterprise ready. So while the world cheered the open sourcing of AI, Anthropic quietly redefined the frontier. The question now is not whether GPT-5 is coming, it's whether GPT-5 is enough. Let us know what you think in the comments below. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe, and always remember think AI, think Claude, think GPT 5, think AIM.